Today my father is driving me to my swimming lesson. He's speaking to me, but I'm not answering. A ball of anguish is lodged in my throat and stops me from speaking. It feels like somebody is crying inside my chest. From up here, I can hear them laughing at me. A storm awakens itself in me. My lungs fill with an immense sea of sorrow. I fall, I dive, and I depart. That seemed like a particularly heavy open, but also like the cool blending of watercolors and different minimalist like outline aesthetic and everything. It's pretty cool. How's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to the brand new Iris and the Giant, a game that combines trading card style combat with RPG elements and a little bit of roguelike influences. Thank you to the folks at Indie Boost for hooking me up with the key. Much appreciated. The game has been worked on for years and the art style clearly speaks to that. It shows such care and attention and cool things going on that I, I have never really seen elsewhere. I'm gonna go classic mode. The Adventure of Iris difficulty, difficult yet not overly so, as it's meant to be played. Uh, I've, I've just got the impression that there's a lot going on in this game through like various little press releases and things I've read about like collecting your cards to build up your deck, but also upgrading your character, but also you can like build a party of other characters and there's like various ways to unlock friends to, to come into battles with you. Like, are we crossing the, the river Styx the right Styx. now? Jesus. A river that separates the real from the imaginary. So did we actually tie in that opening thing it's already? Funny. Holy. I no longer feel fear, but I know I am here to face my demons. Literally, we just battle our demons. I think that's an interesting little narrative device. Uh, quick few tips from the boatman. Wait, thanks for being so nice, you big old swan of a man. Each turn, draw four cards. You only have to play one. Play this axe to hit all the demons in front of you. Attacks all opponents in the front row. We got row mechanics coming in here. Skip, no, no, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, you click it. I, I was trying to drag. I was trying to go very slay the spire with it. During their turn, they attack you. Oh, whoa. Things are like moving forward like that. Sword can be played in the same turn. Play three sword cards in a row. This cat, it's a cat, will shoot an arrow at me. The skeleton will strike me without hesitation if it gets in front of me. So slice, dice, and you know, just a few more slices. It seemed to be effective the first time. No need to get too fancy. Touch the stairs to reach the next floor. I like the way that there's like this first person description of things like he's going to attack me if I click on these stairs I'll go to the next level there's like there's a stylization to the writing there that's very first person for this main character and done in a way that feels immediately notably uncommon in like RPG games. So often you're supposed to project yourself. Now it's like more like a storybook or something. Like I, I'm, I'm intrigued by that. Touch the crystals to pick them up. They'll allow you to get special cards. Should I not do that repeatedly? Okay, open the chest to find new cards. It does not end your turn. Choose two packs. Attacks all opponents in the first row. Attack one opponent. Uh, restore all my will. I can play again. That's an additional thing. Confidence 2 and whip. Pull an opponent or object towards me. I'm going to grab the thing that's like healing. Mm. Do I, I don't want like four copies of that card though, do I? That seems absurd. And I'll grab the axes, I guess. Maybe I do. Maybe cards are like spent forever. Here you can open your bag to see the cards you have left. Be careful, if your bag is empty, you lose the game. Okay, so I do want as many cards as you can give me then, Jesus. Here you can open your bag to see the cards you have left. Be careful, if your bag is empty, you lose the game. See there, that time, there she's talking third person. 
peculiarness. Cards are my weapons. Without cards, I won't be able to fight, and the game will be over. So I guess I'm a companion of the character. She's still referring, like, to herself, I, me, but there's an occasional you. I'm getting pulled into the story. Each defeated demon gives you one star. You can see here the stars you have uh, and, and use them to become stronger. Crystals to get rare cards. You can see the number of crystals you need to find. And each defeated demon gives you one star. You can see the stars that we have. You need nine more stars to assert your personality. Lastly, demons' attacks will reduce your will. Be careful if your will reaches zero, you lose the game. Confidence card restores that. Okay, there's multiple ways to lose then. I'll let you continue here. Use your cards and strategy to reach the stairs. Uh, I also have to worry about the baby minotaur holding a formidable axe. From time to time, it jumps over its friends. The armor on this guy will protect it from my first attack. I'm getting like a hint of what's to come, I suppose. Does nothing have health? It's literally just a matter of like stopping them. Like as long as I am able to intercept this first row from like taking place, then I'm good. Uh, I can play again. So I'm gonna play this first on myself to heal up. And then I'm gonna blast you. Can the arrow blast people behind? It can. I can attack the rock, supposedly. I think I'll just bail up the stairs instead in an effort to try to not use too many cards. Don't strike the crystals, you'll destroy them. Alright, I'm glad I probably saved some cards, because all of a sudden we have a much heftier battle. This Minotaur wears a thick armor. I have to attack it three times to defeat it. And its attack is seven? Can I shoot it? I can. But like my turn would end. Yes? Is my understanding? One, one, one. The second row is a bunch of ones as well. I'm better off receiving one damage from a bunch of things. Oh god, right. Both entire rows are gonna come at me. Alright. Here's my thinking then. I, I dispose of this row. Because there's nothing ranged in this particular row. Uh, this is a different sword? I can play another sword if I have one in my hand. It's the regular, usual old sword. So I want to blast that guy's armor away. Oh my goodness, what just happened? He launched himself up ahead there, which sucked for me. Was not prepared for that dramatic of an entrance from this guy. Gotta take him out, because he's the biggest, baddest, meanest one. You're the second biggest risk to me right now. Hey! Oh yay! Leveled up, that's good. <laughs> There's some interesting strategy going on here, because like, it made sense to dispose of one of those rows that they don't have six attacks on me, but I have to try and attack that guy from a distance before he gets so close that he can start using his heavy attack, but I brought him in too close and he leapt over, like, I'm, I'm down. There's a lot going on. Your star allows you to upgrade one of your traits. Determination, trick, chest, and resistance. A shield card will protect me during three turns instead of two. I immediately get a shield for two turns. I open this chest right away. Once I've played 12 cards, the card I play returns to my bag. So the 12th one, I guess. I will earn one will point for each demon defeated with a sword, dagger, axe, or arrow. That's the majority of what I have. So determination seems like the way to go. Like, I'm gonna get so much out of that. He left behind a magical power? Hell yeah, I'm gonna pick up his magic power. You defeated a big demon. You find one of his powers. When a card ends up in my bag, I gain one will point. You could combo that so well with that every 12th card thing. My bag is better protected. Thieves have a 50% chance of not stealing anything. I gotta worry about thieves? Damage of three or more is reduced by one. That seems huge. Is that a permanent upgrade that I now have? I think it is. I think that's like a relic in like Slay the Spire kind of like. I think I am carrying that with me for good now. And that's huge. <laughs> like that's wild. A memory, it'll give me strength next game so I can do things in this that will help me in the future 
the cards, picking up cards doesn't end things. I am i don't know about the whip. The, the whip seems risky. I feel like I saw a tool tip on one of the loading screens and didn't vocalize it, but it said something about comboing daggers and whips, but I didn't get a chance to read it properly. I would like to have some block. I use a lot of axes, so I should probably bring more axes into my, into my self here. Collect more gems. Check out the memory? Oh man, you're gonna uncover the story so, through this? Your tongue? I will have to give you a failing grade. If all you're going to do is cry, you might as well sit back down. Man, people were terrible to this girl. But in some way this is giving me strength in my next attempt? That's feel very I feel very much for this girl. It's terrible. Uh, it'll be easiest to just blast through. Oh my god. This game is incredible. <laughs> Things are just like happening. Uh, okay. This dagger will deal a fatal blow to any opponent. Does that include people with armor? Like, I was suspicious of the fact that I was allowed to target rocks. But then I just incidentally I did that. A labyrinthine maze of my imagination, with my will as my only guide. Her will? It's like capital will. Damn, did we just enter like a new area? The like way the narrative is unfolding in this is so damn cool as well. Alright, what's new new going on? The, the row is only too wide all of a sudden. That's different. The thief cat will come and take cards from my bag. I better keep him far away. There's a pair of those guys in the back here. Uh, the easiest, simplest thing is probably just to use the axe. The axe feels slightly less important now that there's only two rows of enemies, you know? It, it was massive before, and now it's like, yeah, okay, maybe it's important. Attack three opponents in a straight line. I'm guessing that's deep into the line rather than across, as things have, like, typically been. And I'll take a, a pair of daggers again, since that's real useful. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt the fire. Oh, that's huge. That's so huge. Damn. Okay. Uh, I don't want the thief to get near. I'm not, I'm like, I, I just like don't want to deal with it, you know? It seems bad. Oh, it's letting me know how many more of those I have in my deck. It says like confidence and then there's like the this picture and then a one. And I didn't really know what the heck that was telling me, I, I think that's it. Blocks all attacks for two turns. Using the dagger seems so excessive right now. I just had a cat jump up in my lap. He just turned to dust. I just like didn't want to use a, a dagger when it can like one shot any enemy apparently. It seemed like too much considering. Come on, come on cat. Get, Get slightly out of the way if you if you don't mind. You're like getting real up in my in my biz right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use. Um, uh, I, it seems less dire to like heal up right now, and I can't. I, I'm so tempted to click and drag every time. Still, I have seven arrows, so I'll I'll, I'll use the arrow instead. I think that the confidence thing is only supposed to heal like four or something like that mm, that was like temporary now we're back up to three and there's clearly like I don't know a big boss or something hanging out back here that I can't can't learn anything about uh there's a lot going on this guy's armored I'm gonna shield Oh, I, I healed. Probably because I killed people using, like, daggers and stuff. Great, yeah. Using this is, like, a last resort. I really shouldn't shouldn't bother with that much. All attacks. Damn, that is, like, so excessively strong. I love it. Gonna hang on to that. Oh, I meant to use a dagger on that guy. Just to see if it worked on his armor. This works, though, actually, because now I know that I can nuke both of them. But now... <laughs> Now I am bringing in the, the, the much tougher one. This skeleton has a terrible power. It allows my enemies to attack twice. Oh god, and I, and I got these thief guys here. And he's clearly shielded, and I think the diamond is letting me know that he's shielded twice. I think I, I, think I basically need to shield again and try, try to like... 
Oh my god, okay, shielding is so is so important in that particular battle. My goodness. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if the dagger supersedes armor. You can further upgrade different things. That's really cool as well, actually. Returning a card to your bag. Two for each time you kill someone with, with either of those. It's a demon. Is everything a demon? I think they are. I draw five cards instead of four. Ooh. I only have 15 cards in this exact moment. That worries me some. I think I'm going to take the trick. Because I think making sure I'm able to keep a flow of cards returning in my hand will be quite important overall. It contains precious cards. Precious, all cards are precious, is I think what it's what it's getting at there. They're not like special D cards. Although, is this blue because it's increased rarity or because it's like magic? Not certain on that. I really do overall dig the limited color palette of this game. I just want to get out and say that. Ooh, it marked these guys. The fact that they are being contributed to by, by this this special determination is probably why they have the little red circle in the corner which is neat i'm gonna try out my dagger it goes straight through armor that's huge that's like massive okay awesome awesome <laughs> you defeated a big demon and uh when a card ends up in my bag i gain one will i can throw my daggers to strike a demon in the second row Chests now offer one more dagger card. And if my will is below five and I find a confidence card in my bag, I draw it immediately. That's like a cool last resort thing. Now that I know how valuable daggers are, pff, that's huge. Of course I'm investing in that one. That's like the coolest, craziest thing. I... Hmm. I'm tempted. I have a few options here. Like I can attack deep or across. I think attacking deep right now actually makes sense since there's there was actually a row of three I like won't be able to do that again after there's like I don't know a wizard or something coming up here this guy's armored which makes that the tiniest bit trickier oh it's a, I couldn't I couldn't like recognize or tell what the hell that would have been I guess I'm going to attack across again it's like really my my only real bet there Oh, he's going to be protected. You SOB. I could bail. I could just run for the stairs. Ah, uh, feels like a waste of an axe. I was hoping I would incidentally break something open from there. That would be handy. You can see the number of crystals you need to find. Oh, okay, okay. So I need to find four more. I The crystal thing has not totally made sense to me yet. Surprise hiding behind one boulder of each floor. Okay. Four across all of a sudden. We got these guys. He's He does eight damage. He's going to set off its bomb under my nose unless I set it off first. So if I were to blast deep into this, then like, is he going to chain reaction explode the guys next to him as well? This guy has a shield now. It protects it from everything but magical cards. Oh my god, okay. We're getting a lot of complications and limitations. An old amphora. I could break it with a mere kick. Rather than like the boulders and stuff we've seen before. A steel jaw trap. It will trigger automatically if I come within range. Oh my god. How do I stop that? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, in that case... Oh, oh no. I... Uh, uh, do not, do not do currently. I would like to open this chest first. I feel like that will be most useful overall. I haven't, I, I'm sure the whips are valuable. I'm sure they are. I just haven't seen how to use it properly yet. Damn it. Damn it. I did not want to pull that guy closer. All right. But I can, I'll, I'll go this way. I'm just getting rid of the bomb. No bombing. The bomb did blow up. It may have hurt me as well though. I think it might have. Down to zero. Right, that's what triggers this. This whole thing. A lot of daggers. As if by magic, six swords appear in my hand. Sword dance. Oh, so you play that and get six swords? 
and you can just keep playing swords. Oh man, that's really cool. The dagger, since I did get that upgrade thing, daggers are really valuable though, so I do kind of want to hang on to that. I'm not really stoked on the fact that uh, this guy, like he's gonna blow up on me, right? I'm, I got 22, it does damage, but only one versus like him charging me and doing an insane amount of damage. Uh, I better, I better heal up some. It's a full, full restore. How did I not realize that before? That's very different. I got that shielded guy who won't be killed. He'll be fine. Stack it up, stacking up a fair bit of enemies in front of me here. We have a fancier set of stairs and I don't know what this is coming my way. Oh, great. Okay. The, there's a pretty constant stream of like upgrades and additional things coming your way. Uh, it'll protect for three turns instead of two. That's so huge. Draw an extra card. Picking up a crystal will give me one will point. On each floor, I find one more crystal. Oh, so having such a variety of ways to heal yourself seems so important. I don't have a ton of shield cards. I immediately get a shield for two turns. Do you know what? I'm going to invest in that. I'm going to invest, protect myself in that, in that regard. The memory, right. It's another memory coming my way. Don't talk to her. She's an idiot. She can't even defend herself. See? Stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> can't even defend herself? What are you, what, why you got to be so direct and awful with all that? I don't even know. I can't even express my feelings of dis for that how, how far can I how far can I throw only the first two rows only the first two rows uh, in that case I'm trying this out okay so you can just delete these like I bet you it needs to be within range yeah it has to be in the front row but you can just get rid of it once that comes up now I'm gonna chuck this and hope that you blow up that bear trap and everything okay okay that's awesome that's so cool. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with this right now. There's so many cool different interactions. I don't have anything that I can use against that guy. Uh, I guess I just try to take out you because you're one of the stronger things. I don't like the fact that I have this thief coming up on me now. So now he can try and steal away some of my stuff. It's a waste. It would be a waste to use a dagger on such a simple enemy, but I think I kind of have to. There must be a way. Like, I must be able to, to dagger th this guy? I don't think I can. It says it has to be magic. I can try. Daggers, daggers work. Apparently. Daggers are just that valuable, I guess. Alright, I'm piecing out of this, I think. I can heal by getting a kill, but it doesn't matter. A damage chest will offer you fewer choices. All right, so when a chest exists in a row and you use a big attack that damages it, that ha I got a dump, I got a sad. I feel, the skeleton looks so sad, I feel like crying. I don't want to be mean to the sad skeleton. Side note, I'm pretty sure I carried this hand forward with me. So there's like potential strategy there that when you feel like you have a good hand queued up, like maybe you have a shield lying in wait, then book it for the stairs, knowing that you can use that if necessary or whatever. I think there's some strategy to be had there. It's not 100% random. What's a little seven? Seven marked on this right now. Uh, oh, oh, it's the number of cards until I get to retain one of them. All right, I'm just bashing you with a sword, man. Seems simple for me. Oh, there it is. That all seemed too easy. The Cyclops is untouchable when hidden. On every other turn, it will throw its boulder at me. Attack seven. I really need more like axes and things. Oh no. The tides turned quite quickly on me there. Alright, I'm going to take out this guy before he chucks his boulder at me. I know I'm going to sustain that one damage. I'll grit and bear it. I'm going to allow this to hit. I'm going to take out this row. Because I, I don't want to waste 
these. Like, I, I only want to use them when it feels like dire and necessary, you know? Uh, not particularly difficult enemies overall here. So I don't, I don't have a lot of concerns there. I, this is the only one who's going to be able to attack me. So I'm going to do my first thing, break up his armor. Uh, okay, there's another guy hidden there. Of course there is. But bash him good. <sighs> Feels like a waste of a dagger, you know? Don't really want to be dagging right now. But if it must be done, this is a sad skeleton. Do you, he does attack. He does. Eventually, I guess. I'm gonna scoot you boys up. There, do a nice three heal on that. I assumed there was at least one more of you guys buried around somewhere. I'm gonna use the shield, because I can't I can't do anything about that currently. Oh damn, he's shielded, so I'm still not gonna have access to the chest just yet. Mm, that works out though. I'm gonna break that to bring things forward in the hopes that there's something in that rock. Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those. <laughs> uh, healing. I should probably add more of that. The axes and the daggers though are both too valuable. They're like too good of weapons to give up. So I ha I didn't have to use any of these. And instead, I I'm, I'm leaving the sad guy alone. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I was mostly able to just heal just by having that basic determination card, which has been really useful. We got ourselves like a new environment again, which is which is cool. This demon sets my cards on fire. Playing a burning card will cost me eight will points. What? That sounds really dangerous. <laughs> um, yeah, more fire. I definitely want more fire. The arrows are not that valuable because daggers daggers are made so much more valuable when I when I have that thing that lets me throw them there's like a four sorted cat coming my way eventually a little bit concerned about what that will bear oh I don't want to break the crystal like I'm kind of better off letting this minotaur attack me I think than I am with because if I defeat that, then I, I'm going to be stuck with this burning card that does 8 damage. So I think I'm better off blasting this. It sucks because I'm going to break the crystals. I don't know if I actually damaged them or not. I suspected that I did. Oh, there's another one of these guys hidden back here. I didn't even see him, really. The attack of this demon is linked to the number of cards in my bag. Oh, God, what? That's devastating. That's very, very strong. Uh, I basically have to shield. What is this thing? One of the heads of the terrible Cerberus. The legend says its heads grow back after a while. I won't give them the chance. So you just gotta keep hammering attacks. This guy has a mirror. The dagger... Wait, does he? Oh, that's what this guy is. The dagger of the snake will reduce my maximum will. My maximum and its mirror re reflects damage. If I were to ever use anything magical, the level of complexity of these enemies is growing so wildly. Oh, right, I have the three turn shield. No! He was still able to do the burn from a distance. You bugger! Get out of here! Look at what you've done. Oh, the burning only lasts for one turn. God, okay, because it seemed way too strong. Like. Come on, you know. Um, I I don't know what to do. Mostly, I think I need to get uh, everything. Everything is a danger at this point. Uh, I don't like the fact that they can reduce my maximum will. So I think I want that thing gone, even though this thing is like the highest damage risk. I know that I can take it out now instead. His attack is only four. So this, he's he's the greatest threat in this current situation. Oh, I didn't even notice I was one away. That timing may be perfect. The shield goes for four turns. I get, I get two of them. Uh, once I've played ten cards, it, it returns. I draw five cards instead of four or a chest. 
the resistance thing is so huge and you immediately get the the shield like that's so hard to to give up I think I'm going to allow that Minotaur to stay there. I think... No, 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 no. The axe. I, I should utilize the axe. There we go. But I have to I have to keep the... The, like, dog barking was cute. There's a red... A red rock there. I'm not sure. There's another Cerberus. Uh, immediate. Immediate Cerberus kill. Yeah. I think that'll be the way to go. Oh no! Oh no! It came back so much more quickly than I was anticipating. Uh, crap? I'm gonna try and take out all of that stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. The danger here is becoming very real. Bash him? Get rid of it. Please don't come back. What? How do I deal with that? I think I, like, have to use swords or something that allow me to attack it more than once in a turn? I think? Like, I don't know anything else. Oh. No. 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 I have no goddamn idea. I don't have swords. Swords may be more valuable than I thought. See, now I'm just going to end up with a row of Cerberuses. And that seems bad. I have one singular thought here. I need to take away that one's armor so that I can hopefully kill all three heads. Is that is that what's necessary to kill Cerberus? Now they're gone? Oh my god, that was so bad difficult to achieve <laughs> holy cow i'm glad that worked out that my hopes were very slim every seven crystals i pick up i gain one axe which is directly put in my hand if i fall below five i, I get a confidence thing man i guess i guess as long as you can keep yourself from dying like because now and again, if something's dealing enough damage to have you that close to a risk of death, then, like, it might be enough to kill you, you know? Monsters who survive my axe are stunned for two turns. That's pretty interesting. I like the idea of just gaining a lot of axes. I like the idea of cards that just dish me out more cards. Oh, here she's drawing pictures she of the enemies. I don't know what's going on. Want to help her? And is that a, a Wii U? I think it's me. I'm the one who's lost. Oh, he thought she was like listening to her music, Dad. It's so sweet. All right. Well, oh wait, no, but I can't, or I shouldn't. <sighs> it just reflects damage. All right. How do I? Can I pass? Is that an option in any way to just be like, well, no, I don't want to. Uh, I guess I try and break rocks then. Nothing there. Oh. I That was a lose-lose. I didn't have enough cards. If I used the magic, it was going to reflect back against me. That was it. No more cards. And, and I defeated Cerberus. That seemed so difficult. You found 98 stars. Here are some rewards for your next game. Which would have been from the four different memories, yes? Uh, you just won six Thunder cards for the next game. You can exchange this reward for another randomly chosen one. That's fine, I'll, I'll hang on to that. You just won six Sword cards for the next game. Uh, you just won six Steel cards. Which I, I guess, it, that looks like the same like sickle that the cat thieves have so I can steal from my enemies which sounds interesting you found a new imaginary friend you must complete their challenge reach floor 7 so have I done that or is that something like did I earn it for reaching level 7 or now I have the opportunity to try and earn it I'm a little bit curious about that 18% so, uh, I played one game. 1-0. Best floor, 8. 
best score 98 paths of mind found paths of mind finished none overall progression i have found very few cards oh my god i had no idea there were so many cards like with the few cards that i have found there was already an incredible depth of strategy 45 different enemies overall uh i found only a few of the memories and you can re-watch them that's really neat friends so i now have the opportunity to find this guy i guess i guess I, that's strange that I didn't earn it immediately. And there's 30 of these powers overall, too. There is so much to this game. And the, the art style, the strategy, the storytelling is incredible. I think this game might be amazing. I wasn't expecting it to introduce so many new, unique things to the this like ongoing Slay the Spire-inspired genre. That's that was really great. <laughs> I enjoyed that so much. I hope you guys are excited about it as well. The game is out now. I'll have a link in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. I highly, highly recommend it. This was awesome. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.